Alright, welcome to um, our life in the Philippines and to another one of those little freedom, fresh air, writing vlog. I've been, uh, I've been up in uh, um, uh, Severa or the Fiesta community where, um, uh, where we are moving. Just been up there checking out a couple of couple of things. There's a few things that needs to be done, um, and uh, before we move in, uh, one one of the things was the little well, the window in the kitchen area, as as that was uh, uh, showing signs of water coming in. It's just an opening uh, with a grid. Alright, so another thing with these motor vlogs. Um, right now you can see uh, uh, Claro and Recto Highway. Uh, I'm gonna start putting up the streets uh, as I drive and change the street. So you can follow along on a map. Uh, eventually I'm gonna do some uh, map screen recordings uh, with a GPS so I'm gonna put that in that way you guys can follow this but anyway uh, we are uh, uh, as we have announced we're moving up there uh, a lot of people ask you know yeah but I thought you were moving to Samar <laughs> and, and yes we are uh, but we decided to, instead of trying to get rid of everything, because we did decide that once we get there and get our house done, we, we really want to get uh, uh, some, some form of new furniture, maybe that goes more in style with, with the uh, area down there. and. Uh, the cost of transporting uh, what we got here um, pretty much I would say uh, exceeds the cost of replacement so it's not really worth to spend the money trying to uh, transport uh, seven eight uh, year old furniture uh, we bought these most of it uh, prior to us uh, getting married, uh, uh, while we had the plans to get married, we, we got the house together, we got the furniture together. So when when the day came, uh, we had a fully furnished house. So we decided to uh, pretty much store the stuff uh, up in in, in Zavera. Or, or actually not severe uh, I gotta stop saying that because it's next to Severa but it's called the Fiesta uh, communities uh, which is uh, uh, you know a, a typical Filipino area uh, I looked at it. it it is our street very quiet um, I'm aware of uh, the the dog lovers in Philippines and I love dogs too but I hate when they bark 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 and that has been a problem here where we live so uh, uh, I said if we can meet that <laughs> criteria for a storage we we we'd be doing good so uh, that that's where we are with that and uh, uh, we're excited uh, Janis has been uh, um, not feeling good lately but uh, uh, she is uh, recovering you know the, the the flu has been there she got some uh, what do you call it uh, throat strep strep throat and uh, yeah, but she's she's recovering now so that's a good thing but anyway uh, here to the right you have the uh, uh, 
uh, golf course, uh, Air Force uh, City golf course to the left is to the park coming up here. Uh, we just passed the airport and uh, uh, you know I being in Severa a lot of times um, I hate to uh, uh, go through Mabalica, the traffic there. All right, so Bonafico Avenue, and uh, then we are coming up here on the main road in and out of Clark. So, but anyway, um, I, here shortly, uh, I'm putting together a couple of videos. Uh, from the uh, Samar area and uh, I was going to introduce you to that here not before long uh, trying to gather up some more footage uh, Janice has a couple of cousins down there we're asking them to to do some uh, video and filming and pictures and photos and uh, then I can present it to you guys and uh, so you can you can see where we're going uh, anyway this road here has um, been totally totally revamped uh, over over the last couple of years um, during COVID here and I was kind of wondering uh, why all these roads and everything uh, is constructed all over the place and and I think I got an explanation the other day I talked to somebody and they said no 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 this was decided uh, prior to the Turkey coming coming to power it's just been taking this long to get the action going and now if there is any truth to that uh, I don't know but uh, no no or whatever he his uh, name was uh, Kino uh, is actually the one from where I understand that was an integrated part of getting the budget together for all these road works that have been taken around all over Philippines and especially here in Bataan all over the place you know roads that were uh, between Subic and, and uh, Morong was like small narrow one lane road are now double lanes and all that has changed um, matter of fact I've just been told it is now double lane and I have not even been on it because we're <coughs> restricted of uh, even going down there nowadays you can go uh, but if you stay in a resort, uh, uh, then you have to present a uh, negative test, and uh, I, everybody knows these tests. I don't trust them, uh, and you have to do what I call real tests at your expense at uh, Medical City or somewhere else. Uh, to get a true result, otherwise um, they're spreading a lot of um, positives that are not positives, let's put it that way. Anyway, uh, we are now coming down here at the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, main gate, and uh, here is one building. Uh, don't know what that is to the right but I see some ramps in the center indicating it could be a car park uh, but I don't know um, the, the same thing is the uh, building that starts uh, right here by the main gate uh, you know we've asked around there is absolutely not one sign that that 
uh, tells you what is going to be there. If you have a clue, put something in in the comment. And uh, you know, some has said it's going to be a mall. Some has said it's going to be offices. Uh, it might be a combination of everything, but uh, I can't. I can't phantom another mall next to SM Clark. Uh, I think malls today uh, has problems in surviving as it is. Uh, we, we, I go in here in my local little mall uh, here in Doe, uh which is uh, City Mall, uh, and it's. Uh, empty, the stores are closed, uh, and uh, that's why I'm saying I can't see another mall. There's not economy enough to sustain stores in, in, in that kind of an environment, especially now with uh, all the tourists being um, out of here. And uh, to the left here, you have Astro Park, and uh, we're approaching into uh, Balibago. Astro Park remains, it looks to me, it remains uh, like it's closed, and, and I don't see uh, any people there. Uh, under normal circumstances, you go here in the afternoon or evening, and you have uh, a bunch of people, families, enjoying the outings, and uh, now we're down on uh, MacArthur Highway. Also, I think they call it Manila North Road. So, coming in to Ma Balakat, here to the left is the uh, checkpoint between Angeles and uh, Mabalakat, uh, not strictly enforced anymore. I think they are looking for masks uh, and, you know, general compliance uh, with, with the rules. Um, uh, that's all I see. Um, most, most of the time, the officers are sitting under the tent and surfing their cell phones. Here's another thing, bicycles, bicycles, bicycles. A lot of people has, it looks to me like they put their motor uh, away and uh, they jumped on their bicycles, bought bicycles. There are several bicycle stores that came up uh, during the COVID here. Anyway, uh, we have arrived in Dao, uh, my kind of home area, and uh, we are going to uh, go live again on Wednesday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, also here in Philippines. It'll be Thursday morning, 8 a.m., so uh, come and join us then, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, share, like, and uh, give us a thumbs up. That helps us with the algorithm. And uh, again, God bless. We'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.